Good morning, y'all. So we're rolling into the next video right away. Um, and we're going to do a garden overview real quick. I'm going to harvest a couple of things. Um, mostly peppers is all I have to harvest. Um, and then I'm just going to give you a quick tour. I'm planning on changing a couple of things. I don't know if I'm going to take you along for it because it takes a little bit longer and I have to show you all everything. And it's the morning and the heat is coming. I can feel it. Um, it's not here yet. Um, but I don't want to necessarily be out here late so like i said we're changing up the configuration not by much but just a little bit so let me show you about the things that i want to change anyways my name is natalie welcome to my channel my garden and me um yeah let's just let's start with a quick overview y'all hold on Okay, so that's the overview of the garden. Right now, I'm just going to um, pick some peppers because um, I think today I've been picking my, I've been harvesting my um, cayenne long slim peppers and I've just been throwing them in the fridge, just like that, just throwing them in the fridge, throwing them in the fridge. So now today I think I'm gonna take them, wash them properly, dehydrate them and make them into a powder so that I can use them. Um, and I'm gonna rip out some of the pepper plants from last year. Um, so I have a couple of ideas of what I wanna do. It's just not like solidified in my head and I'm not one to put pen to paper to plan out the garden. I kinda of just go by feel, which is probably not like the best things to do, but that, that is how I do it. So, you know, anyways. Um, let me turn you around as I'm harvesting some of these Kion Longs. Um, a lot of them are dried up. I'm not sure, like they've been like crinkly and dried up for the most part, but I still use them if they're not too bad. Um, I staked up some of the pepper plants yesterday um, because they were just leaning over so badly. And then the other thing is like my um, Carolina, Carolina Reapers, dude, they are healthy, they look beautiful, but I have not harvested one pepper off of it. Lots of blossoms, not one pepper. Let me show y'all. So here are my Carolina Reapers. And if you can see, I have like, buds on here lots and lots of buds see um i do have aphids on here though because you can tell the ants are there but look at that and look at that look 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 how many it's crazy but not one pepper has developed look at that not one pepper has developed and the same thing for these three over here like th these two um so look lots of buds on there but no peppers. I'm not sure what's going on. And the boot jalokia is the same. Look, now we have had like two significant heat waves. So they dropped a lot of their blossoms initially. But we are like, look, this one is another boot jalokia and it's flowering. Um, so yeah, we are going to have to see. Like here we go is this, the second boot jalokia. And this one down here is not doing anything. This is going to remain my pepper bed, honestly. Um, the heat wave kind of killed off these eggplants, to be honest with you. Um, but they are bouncing back quite nicely. Um, and then my serranos never stopped. Habaneros over there, lots of blossoms. Um, I did harvest um, about maybe eight or nine peppers off of it. Yeah. Um, and they have more um, buds on there, which is really great. So I'm hoping before it gets real cold, I'll get um, some. But if you can see, hi, honey. Hi. This has been my main provider right here. So uh, so see here, I just go ahead and I pull these off. Now they're already dried out and I'm not sure why this is happening, but they dry on the plant. Maybe I'm coming out here too late. I don't know, but they start off that way. Oopsies. They start off that way. See, it's weird. So I just go ahead and pick those ones and I've been putting them in the refrigerator. Um, I'll show you what I get when I'm done. 
and then I am going to dehydrate them further and grind them into a powder. So yeah, that's what I got so far. Let me get that done and I'll come back and show you what I have. The, these dragon rolls are suffering because they weren't getting any sun, which is why I staked up this plant because this plant kind of took over. See, it was flopping over everything and these dragon roll was not getting any sun. So let's, let's go ahead and collect all these so that I can dehydrate them because I have a bunch. And when I mean a bunch, I mean quite a bit. So let's get that taken care of. Okay, here is all the peppers. And one okra. This is my second okra for 2024. I don't know what it was. Last year, I did uh, pretty decent with okra. This year, mm -mm, not so much. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I'm grateful for everything that I get. Okay. My roselle flowers are opening up. Look at that. Aren't they pretty? Oh my gosh, I just love them. Um, we've had a couple that opened up already. See? And they're done. Yeah, so we've had a couple. See? Yep, yeah, so these pods are definitely, some of these pods are definitely ready to be harvested. We have a ton. Look at, like, look at this one branch alone. Look at that. This alone. Look at that. There's another flower over here. Um, yeah, they're just coming on really well, and I love this plant. I mean, look at it over here. So one tree will give you so much. Um, and I planted my garlic in here, so I'm hoping that the roots don't compete with my garlic, as well as the roselle. My original plan was to take that out. Um, and then I have this tiny little plant over here. I have two tiny plants. I have this one. She's not doing so well, y'all. She's like, not well. And this one is okay. It's okay, but it's not the, the best of the best of the best. So, but she still has a lot on her for a tiny plant. This one as well, super tiny. So we will see. It just, we'll see. Um, okay, what else do I really want to show you? Okay, so here's my plan. Okay, the um, artichokes right here are not doing well in these grow bags. So I'm going to take them and I'm going to move them all the way over there. I think I have five plants in total. And then um, my asparagus I have in a grow bag right here. And I'm going to also move those guys over there. And so because those are like permanent fixtures, I don't I won't ever have to worry about them. And it is what it is. So I have like I've been going through my head like lots and lots and lots of ideas, right? So I max to maximize this garden the best way that I can. And um I have decided that I'm going to get rid of this bed right here. Okay, and here's why, okay? So if you can see, this is like an in-ground bed, honestly, with just a border around it. But every time I put soil in here and I water it, because my um, uh, my garden is slanted going down this way outside. So I'm washing away a lot of dirt. If you can see, the water patches through there. You see that line right there? That's like water and like my soil just being washed away. So I'm going to get some other raised beds. Um and we'll go from there. So this is going to be either another long bed like my brick bed. I'm very nostalgic because these two beds are the first two that I ever put in. Like this bed and that bed are the first two beds that I ever started. Now this one, because it is the cinder block, I'm fairly confident that I can fill this up with soil and it'll be okay. This one, not so much. And I don't have any more cinder blocks. So... And my soil keeps washing away, which takes me down to the native soil, which is this clay. Okay, so you can see this bed. Like, look how slanted the soil is. Like, it's just headed that way. So that is my plan. Um, it's not an immediate plan. It is something that I'm going to work on. Oh, hello. I forgot more peppers. Oh, this one is super dry. It just dried itself on a plant. Look at that. Um, is that it? Nope. There's one more. 
Here's another one right here. Hey, 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 get out my bed, sweetie. Get out my bed, please, and thank you. I don't know why they're drying up. Maybe I'm not getting them early enough. These are um, jalapenos. Um, and I'm going to pull out all these peppers because they're second-year peppers as soon as they're done. And this is going to be an onion bed. <laughs> so I might need to get this done sooner rather than later because my onion's coming November. But yeah, so that is a plant. And then um, behind here, I am going to fill like right here. And right here is going to be thyme and a lot of rosemary to deter the animals from coming through and um, getting in the garden, you know, because they have been. This is their main entrance area. So I want to plant a couple of um, rosemary plants back here um, all the way to the back, all the way down there, all the way over there so that the smell is so strong that they just think twice about coming through. So that is my plan for right now. I might put some uh, garlic chives there as well. I have lots of seeds there, so I can do that. So that is my plan for now. And if I'm definitely going to make this an onion bed, I don't wanna plant in this bed as it is right now, because again, it's just, I'm losing the soil. And I think that's why I didn't get like a great harvest out of everything. I did harvest a fairly decent amount of eggplant. I'm not going to lie. Um, the second year peppers did not do so well. This tomatillo has been struggling for a while. Lots and lots of blossoms. Y'all look at that. I have one right here. Oh, there's actually a tomatillo in there. Is it going to be any good? I do not know. But there's a tomatillo in there. There's another one over there. And it is just filled with blossoms. Look at that. Filled with blossoms. And I have two plants, so I'm hesitant to move it out. But I got to do something because it's not working. And I have two weeks off. I'll see what I can do. I'm really loving the metal beds. And the... the they're not stainless steel. What are they? Aluminum metal beds. I really and truly appreciate them. This bed for sure, I know I'm not getting rid of. This is my um, cinder block bed. Um, and yeah, so also, also, um, this um, lemon thyme, I am going to take it and I'm going to take chunks of it and I'm going to plant it, plant them all along here. Because I want it out of this way. Because I can definitely fit other things in here. So this lemon thyme is going to go all along the back of this fence right here. To deter the animals from sneaking through. Um, I'm not having a lot of issues with um, uh, the squirrels and um, the rodents right now. To be honest with you. Um, and then look at the birds coming through y'all. Every morning. So they have been wonderful in coming in and getting rid of my ants and my aphids on these peppers. And I have just been loving it and letting them do their thing. Can y'all see them? I hope you can. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Well, I guess I can't right now. There, can you see them? So yeah, I've been loving them coming in. I'm not sure what kind of birds these are. If y'all know, please let me know. But it's been a joy every morning to come in here and see them just clean this plant. Like I was spraying it every morning. Every morning I was spraying. And they have just been coming in here, sitting on those flower pans and just taking care of it. Like it's amazing. I don't know how they're getting through to be honest with you. Because I have mesh all over this thing. But they're so tiny that they're fitting through the um, the mesh. Which is great. Yeah, they definitely are fitting through the mesh. They're that tiny. I just saw one go through. <laughs> So, yeah, so that is the plan, y'all. That is my plan currently. So, I am going to start by moving the artichokes right now and the asparagus in that round bed. And that is going to be their permanent spot. So, we're going to go ahead and fertilize and everything. And then uh, water. Gosh, this roselle makes me so happy, y'all. Oh, I hope it grows giant bigger but then it's going to shade my garlic but we'll we'll be fine the garlic will be fine all right 